Hello, my name is Bavish. Today we are going to learn recycle gas compressor dynamic simulation using compressor surge feature in Aspen Hisses. So, let's begin without wasting more time. Go to Start menu and open Aspen Hisses V11. Open new case, first of all you need to add components, so click on add bottom right here, which will open the components list Hisses database, select the components from methane to n-hexane, all at a time and click on add button. To select multiple components at a time, you just need to select one component and press control key and keep selecting more components and add all components together by clicking add button. Now, let's add some more components, search H2O and add water. Now search H2 and add hydrogen to the list. Search N2 and add nitrogen to the list. Now let's see this, you must observe that component list 1 is turned to blue, which was red earlier. Now, let's go to fluid packages, as required info says we need to select property package to carry out calculation for the selected components list. Click, add button, this opens property package list available in hisses. Search the property package, Peng Robinson from the list and click it. Now you see, property package status bar is changed to green, and it says OK. I am sure, you all are with me. So far, we have defined component list and fluid package. Now, we are good to go for simulation. Click on the simulation tab on left and simulation window will open. This is model palette from where you can select process streams, energy streams, and equipments to your simulation flow sheet. So just add one process stream and name it as suction. Double click on the stream, material stream window will open. Rename the stream as suction. Can you see the messages below, unknown composition, unknown temperature, unknown pressure and unknown flow rate, this means we need to define all of these one by one. To define composition. Click on composition tab on material stream window. You will see all the components you added and components list are appearing. Now click on edit button and add the mole fractions of each components for the compressor suction stream. Go to conditions and define temperature of the stream as 50 degrees centigrade. Set the pressure as 68.9 kg square centimeters gauge. Set the molar flow as 5000 kg mole per hour. Now, the recycle gas compressor suction stream is defined fully. You can Now, we will add the compressor to the simulation flow sheet. Click the compressor icon on model palette and then click on blank space anywhere on the flow sheet area. Can you see the messages, which says, requires a feed stream, requires a product stream and requires an energy stream. Let's define it one by one. Double click on compressor icon K100, which will open the compressor wind down with design tab. Select the inlet stream as suction, name the outlet stream as discharge, and define energy steam as K100 duty. You will see that status bar is changed to yellow and showing the message, unknown duty. Click on parameter tab and you will see that default operating mode selection is centrifugal compressor and curve input option is single molecular weight. Go to rating tab, you will see that there is option to add curve for the compressor. Now let's click on add curve button to add the compressor. Curve 1 entry window will open. Select the flow units and head units as per the data available. Enter the value of speed for curve 1 and add points for volume flow, head and efficiency for curve 1. You can pause the video and made the entry for all points for curve 1 as shown on screen. Close the curve 1 window and add another curve, repeat the steps as done for curve 1 for all remaining 5 curves. Pause the video and define all 6 curves as per the data available on screen. Once all six curves are defined, we need to define surge flow curve and stonewall flow curve on flow limit. Click on the surge curve button and select the flow units as cubic feet per minute. Define the points for speed and flow on surge curve as per data shown on screen. Once the surge curve is defined, close the window and click on stonewall curve button. On the stonewall curved window, select the flow units as cubic feed per minute. Define the points for stonewall curve, similar to the surge curve, as per the data shown in the screen and close the window. 
Now select Define the points for stone wall curve, similar to the surge curve, as per the data shown in the screen and close the window. Now select the checkbox for use surge curve and use stone wall curve. Let's go to curves tab again and check the efficiency selection. Make sure that polytropic efficiency is selected, if not click the radio button for polytropic efficiency. Select the checkbox for all six curves to activate our defined curves. Also select the checkbox for enable curves. Now you can see that compressor K100 status bar is still yellow and shows the message, no duty, no speed, or no outlet pressure. To complete the calculation you need to define any one of these three parameter. Let's define the speed here for this case. Enter the operating point on the compressor curve plot. You need to go back on the rating tab, on curves page, click plot curves button, a new window will show the compressor curved with operating point as red circle. Now, close the windows and let's go to simulation flow sheet. You will see the compressor surge button on home menu, right in the middle. Select the compressor K100 and click the compressor surge button to convert our steady state model into the dynamic simulation model with predefined configuration by Hisses. Here you can select the number of stages, for this case we will continue with one stage. Under the template drop down menu, you can see there are different configurations are predefined. Also you can define custom template. In this video we will select the template cooler on suction side configuration. You must have noticed that, upon selection of different template, the flow sheet down below is also changing. Once you select the template, click the Enter Flows Heat button on right bottom corner. The dynamic flow sheet for compressor K100 is opened according to template we selected. Just notice that, the model is converged, and model is ready. Now, click the Dynamics menu on the top, and you will notice there are three button. Run, Stop, and Rewind. Under the Summary section, the drop-down menu is having four predefined scenarios. Discharge valve failure. Controlled shutdown. Emergency shutdown. Total power failure. You can select any of the scenario and run the model to analyze the behavior of the compressor operation and anti-surge control. Let's run the scenario for discharge valve failure and check the compressor behavior.